Dr. Mike Heithouse. Welcome to Shark Bay, Western Australia, one of the world's last pristine marine ecosystems. I need your help to figure out how it works, so get ready for an adventure. Now, how many of you guys like animals? Yeah. I love animals, and that's why I became a biologist. And I got interested in animals when I was about your age. That's the largest native snake in America. Now it's time to see if we can catch some bull sharks. I really love science. It's one of my favorite subjects. And I met the coolest guy ever that I've ever heard about. Dr. Mike went out into the wild and did some pretty awesome work. figure out how many animals are out there, Virginia and I are going to have to go on a dive. Ready? Yep. The things that Dr. Mike does is like getting me very curious about science. I really enjoyed the experience. It felt like I was actually right there. The video, because it's interesting to me, it got my attention onto it. Right there. And usually I wouldn't find most videos interesting. Here, hang on to that. <laughs> Wow. From video that they saw of how this person explores the world, it was fantastic. I never knew light would like reflect off an alligator's eyes. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, guys! So one thing about alligator jaws, they've got a lot of power to shut them, but not a lot of power to open them. So this little bit of tape will hold them shut. Ew, I didn't want to look, but it was kind of cool in a way. It was like gross kind of cool and I want to. Look at that's the first time I've ever seen a whole fish. I always moan and everything because I really don't like science, but now I, when I get this point of view from it, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, your turn to make some graphs and figure out if nutrients affect seagrass growth. Not just watch it, but we got to do activities on the side. Where does energy come from to start with in ecosystems? Well, it's sort of like hands-on, and I like doing that, I like doing that, yeah. Because it also breaks up the lesson to where they're not constantly listening to someone speak. I think it's a great style to teach with. That makes you feel like you're actually doing what the professionals are doing. Yes, I think it's a very good way to learn. So you have fun while you're doing work. My favorite part is when he dove after that loggerhead. It was really cool when he got to jump in the water and get a sea turtle and actually put a blue spot on it. It's uh, 87.5. I want to do that. Incredibly awesome. I wouldn't describe it as like incredibly awesome, more like insanely awesome. Well, I've always loved science ever since I was little, but after I've seen all this, it just makes that 100% go up a little more. I really want to thank Mike for coming here and providing my students who might not have the opportunity to go out and explore these things in their lifetime. I really enjoy it. I'd love to be like him when I grow up. That is just something I really want to do, even if my big brother would disown me because of it. It was really cool, and I hope that one day I get to do it too.